Assalamu alaikum and welcome and thank you for joining Shaded's Ramadan series where we will shed light on the very beautiful and very important lessons that are derived from the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. And subhanAllah in that story Yusuf alayhi salam's father Yaqub alayhi salam says a very profound statement saying Fasabrun Jamil and Fasabrun Jamil means a beautiful patience. And that's what we're going to see throughout the whole story of Yusuf salam. The story of Yusuf salam is called Surat Yusuf. And it's different than any other story where it describes the story of Yusuf salam all in one chapter. And Surat Yusuf is no doubt among the most riveting stories that highlight the way and why the guidance of the Qur'an is timeless and it's miraculous. And it is something that each and every one of us, from the time it was revealed to the end of time, where we find it beneficial in helping us and guiding us through the channels of life. The human experience is one of unique circumstances and commonalities. SubhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us stories in the Qur'an so we can connect to and relate to the people of the past and learn many valuable lessons through their stories. And the story of Yusuf alayhi salam with its captivating lessons making it even more relatable because it is in fact a true story of an ideal one who can always aspire to hope and have a change even in the toughest of circumstances. The Quran's miracle is in showing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, is capable of sharing these stories that may occur in a specific time, but whose guidance is timeless to everyone who reads them and everyone who learns them. And even though these stories of the past have been revealed over 1400 years ago, you find that they're still applicable to us and what we're going through. And as we know, humanity is constantly and consistently in need of refining the soul and purifying the soul and rectifying the content of character. And it is in my hopes that we benefit from listening to these reminders. And it is also in my hope that their lessons teach us how to reflect over guidance how to really reflect, engage through guidance, accepting it in an act of spiritual purification, purifying ourselves all the time, and finding the light of which in this world we all desperately need as we go through difficulties in our life, even through eases, we need to understand the guidance of Allah in order to be grateful in times of eases and to be patient during trials of hardship. And it is preciously this type of light, this is the precise type of light that shines bright through the story of Yusuf salam, where you see that he went through so many different challenges, whether it shows us the darkness of estrangement, it shows us toxic relationships, confinement, it even lets us understand overcoming lusts and desires, struggling through adversity even while standing for the truth, unwavering trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, blessings that can be born out of affliction, and seeing the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the most trying of times, and many, many other lessons that we can extract from the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. So it is not by accident that we will be reflecting on the lessons that we see throughout the story of Yusuf Aysam because one, we see what the Ummah is going through now. We see the difficulties and the atrocities that we see that are happening to our brothers and sisters in Gaza. And many have come to myself and others saying, how do we go through this? How can this be happening right in front of us? But in reality, we have to learn from the story of Yusuf salam how when something looks bad to us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a different plan. How something that looks bad to us can have the most beautiful of outcomes. So Ramadan is the month of reflection and reciting the Qur'an. And that's why we hope 
that we utilize this story to benefit us in every way throughout the month of Ramadan. Now we seek to find the depth in the conversation with Allah. We want to com- converse with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we converse with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are asked to pray and make dua and supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we're asking or looking for Allah to communicate with us, it is literally through His revelation, which are the words in the Qur'an. And we have to constantly remind ourselves that we are in a journey from Allah to Allah. And throughout that journey, we need His guidance, we need His help, and we need His protection all the way through. So we seek forgiveness and mercy through the words of Allah, through the revelation. And it is in this regard that the great Hanbali scholar, Ibn al-Jawzi, rahimullah, had made a correlation between Ramadan and Yusuf, alayhi salam. And he said, the month of Ramadan is to the other months like Yusuf, alayhi salam, which is to his 11 brothers. Just like Yusuf, alayhi salam, was the most beloved son to Yaqub, alayhi salam, Ramadan is the most beloved month. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And just as Allah forgave 11 brothers for one supplication from Yusuf salam, He forgives 11 months with the dua of Ramadan. So Surah Yusuf is the 12th chapter. It's the 12th chapter of the Quran and it has been named after this great prophet of Allah Yusuf salam, Joseph. And Yusuf salam came from one of the most noble lineages, where Yusuf salam came from the most noble of lineages, his father being Prophet Yaqub salam, the son of Ishaq salam, and the son of Ibrahim salam. And the story of Yusuf is one of heartbreak and sorrow, and it is centered around the themes of patience and success in all aspects of our life. So providing provides us with no more than just having hope and inspiration with what we go through every single day. Now in this aspect of conclusion, we know that we must know and remember that on the darkest of days and during the toughest of trials, take heart and take comfort knowing that Allah will find a way out for those who are mindful of him. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to comfort our hearts and comfort our minds with the Qur'an. To give us that proper understanding of it, the strength in implementing it and the capability in memorizing it, teaching it and being a good example of it. I pray to Allah to grant us a blessed Ramadan, providing us and all the Muslimin the mercy and the blessings of it. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps, stands with, and relieves our brothers and sisters in Palestine, especially those in Gaza and all those in need around the world. Allahumma ameen. I ask you all to stay tuned and follow Shaded for more life lessons derived from the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. Jazakumullah kul khair. And thank you for your time. And I hope that you have a blessed day.